Hey, Simon Graver here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another Logic Pro demo. I'm gonna show you how to work with pitch bend again, going all the way up or down for octaves. A while back, I had produced a video where you can work with pitch bend uh, using the automation tool here in the piano roll, inside the piano roll. And people liked that a lot, but there was a limitation and people did bring that up and that was, well, I see you moving up or down one half step, but can you go one whole step? Can you move up or down one octave? Can you move up or down even four octaves? And that question was brought to my attention just a few days ago. And I thought, you know, let me take a deeper look at this. And I did find the answer. And the answer is this plugin here, AU new pitch or audio units new pitch. I will go ahead and show you where that is. I have it in my plugin slot here. But with the drop down arrow, we can go to audio units, Apple, and then AU new pitch stereo. And that would bring that up here. Now it's worth mentioning, there is a difference between AU new pitch and AU pitch. I do find that AU new pitch is more flexible for what people want with the pitch bend. So we bring that up and here we go. Now really the only thing to know for bending pitches, you know, more than one octave, for instance, is this pitch scale horizontal dial. You can see we're at the center at zero cents. To put it simply, cents is a value. So one cent is one hundredth of a half step. So one hundred cents is a half step. Therefore, twelve hundred cents is twelve chromatic steps, twelve half steps, or one octave. Likewise, going down negative 2400 cents is equal to going down two octaves in the equal tempered tuning or scale. So with that in mind, we do have the ability to go up or down four octaves. We have it at the center here, going up two octaves and then going down two octaves. And we can play around with, you know, exceeding four octaves. So let's try, you know, one or two octaves here. All right, let's see what we can do with this AU new pitch plugin using our synth here provided to you by Alchemy, you know, provided to you by Logic Pro, of course. And uh, let's hear the synth as is on pitch C3. Actually, it's quite long when there's nothing eventful happening, no transformations. So we'll just say that's what it sounds like. <laughs> Uh, but let's go ahead and make it a little bit more interesting by putting nodes, little points on this scent line. You can see it's at zero cents, you know, the original pitch, C3. Let's go ahead and add a node. And by the way, you can just go ahead and find this line using the touch mode. Once you have it selected to touch, all you have to do is touch a parameter on a given plugin and you've got the line. And then you can see I've uh, established a couple other parameters there as well. We've got that at bar two. Let's go ahead and start. I've got some thunder in the background, if you can hear that. It's very relaxing, right? I just hope I don't lose electricity. All right, there we go. And here. All right, so let's move from the original pitch up, you know, around 300 cents or three half steps. Let's, let's do four half steps. There we go. Uh, and then let's uh, drop it a little bit. You know, oh, 10 half steps, roughly. And to be exact, I'd have to find a way to get that, but you'll get the general idea. And then, actually, I would like to do one more here. Raise it all the way up for some drama, <laughs> some audio drama. And let's see how, what that sounds like. It almost has that oscillation feel like an oscillator and an oscillation control from something like an analog synthesizer or something like super collider. Uh, so it can be quite dramatic. So there you have it there. Or we can go up, uh, we can start at four octaves. And I'll just leave the pitch as is, uh, the pitch, uh, the MIDI data there at C3. 
Uh, but now actually transferred over up to octaves, it's going to be at C5, going down to C1. You can hear that low C, it sounds great. Uh, we can add a, a automation curve tool. Let's do a very fast ramp down. That might be a little boring uh, at the end of it, but whatever. <laughs> Well, that's actually pretty cool. It's a pretty good sound effect, you know, for you know, some sort of spacecraft, you know, something sci-fi. And of course, let's do the opposite. Well, let's do that. Let's do an S curve. <laughs> Not great, but it works. There we go. I do like that very slow and then a rapid drop down. All right, and now let's go ahead and start quite low to the octave, four octaves, I should say. And just go ahead and take a look at the, the pitch scale dial there. So hopefully you enjoyed that. Hopefully it gives you some inspiration for some experimentation. And I hope you found this helpful. And until I see you next, keep producing the music you love and the sound experimentation you love. And I will see you later. Thanks again.